Hello, I'm Ben Silk, an epidemiologist and lead for molecular epidemiology in the Division of Tuberculosis Elimination at CDC. This presentation will introduce a series of tools designed to aid in the organization, analysis, and visualization of data to help guide TB control efforts. Increasingly, some of the most significant challenges facing TB control programs are associated with managing, analyzing, interpreting, and summarizing epidemiologic, clinical, and molecular data collected as part of TB investigations. Public health officials frequently need to work with large volumes of data. Location-based contact investigations may identify hundreds of potential contacts at multiple locations, such as workplaces, schools, churches, shelters, and correctional facilities where people congregate. And individual TB clusters and outbreaks can involve many patients, making epidemiologic links among patients more difficult to clarify and transmission networks more challenging to describe. Additionally, public health officials routinely need to integrate and analyze different types of data during TB contact, cluster, and outbreak investigations. These can include surveillance data, epidemiologic links, and other data from contact investigations, chronology data on dates in locations, data on the timing of symptom onset and infectious periods, and genomic sequencing data used to estimate the genetic relatedness of TB isolates collected from patients. Integrating and analyzing these diverse data systematically and accurately to inform public health action can be time-consuming and computationally difficult. These data-related challenges can create delays, errors, and serious headaches for public health officials undertaking TB control activities. To address these challenges, CDC has developed tools to aid in integration of complex data through data organization and management, shown in blue, automated data analysis, shown in yellow, and data visualization, shown in red. These freely available tools, the Cluster Investigation Tool, Latte, Lit, and Microbe Trace, can be used to help guide TB control efforts towards the most timely and effective interventions. The Cluster Investigation Tool is primarily a data organization and management tool designed to organize cluster investigation data. The Cluster Investigation Tool helps users to quickly and easily organize, summarize, and assess different types of data collected during cluster investigations. Examples of several types of data are shown here. It uses features in Microsoft Excel to automatically generate a variety of summaries of data, which can be imported from the TB Genotyping Information Management System, or TB GEMS. This allows users to quickly characterize clusters in real time while eliminating the need for double data entry and tedious recreation of cluster summaries as new data become available. The next tool, the Location and Time to Epi Algorithm, or LATTE, is primarily an automated data analysis tool designed to identify epidemiologic links for location-based cluster and contact investigations. LATTE analyses can involve data on the timing of symptoms and infectious periods of patients and dates and locations for patients and potential contacts. LATTE output files include lists of pairs of persons who overlapped at focal locations, a summary of total days of overlap for each person in the analysis, and timeline visualizations showing infectious periods and time spent in each location. This information can be used to identify and quantify overlaps between persons at locations, including overlaps during infectious periods when TB transmission could have occurred. Next, the Logically Inferred Tuberculosis Transmission Algorithm, or LIT, is primarily an automated data analysis tool designed to characterize transmission networks. LIT analyses can involve surveillance and clinical data for cases, epidemiologic links from patient interviews and contact investigations, chronology data on the timing of symptoms and infectious periods, and genomic data used to estimate the relatedness of pathogen isolates collected from patients. LIT applies a hierarchy of evaluation criteria, including filtering, scoring, and weighting of input data, as well as decision rules modeled on those applied by public health practitioners in the field to characterize TB transmission networks. 
Lit output files include a scored and ranked list of potential source cases for each case in the cluster, cases that were filtered as potential source cases and the reason for exclusion, and a heat map to provide a visual summary of the results. Finally, Microbe Trace, developed by CDC's Division of HIV AIDS Prevention, is primarily a data visualization tool. Microbe Trace can be used to visualize a wide variety of data collected as part of contact cluster and outbreak investigations. Examples of microbe trace data visualizations include maps, contact and transmission networks, phylogenetic trees, and timelines. Many of these visualizations can be annotated with demographic, behavioral, clinical, and epidemiologic characteristics. While each of these tools can be used independently, they are also designed to be used together. For example, the cluster investigation tool can be used to organize data into formats that are readily imported into Latte, Lit, or Microbe Trace for analysis and visualization. Epidemiologic links identified using Latte can be input into a Lit analysis for use in characterizing transmission networks. And outputs from a Lit analysis can be input into Microbe Trace to visualize contact and transmission networks as annotated network diagrams. Microbe trace visualizations can be used to quickly and clearly summarize investigation findings to catalyze timely, targeted public health actions. Together, these tools are designed to help standardize and streamline the data organization and analysis process, but cannot replace field investigations or local understanding of patients. It's important to remember that these tools will only work as well as the data inputs and should be reviewed and updated as more accurate data become available. We've learned that thinking about high-quality data collection and organization upfront are keys to success. Finally, we also wanted to highlight that some of the tools can work with personally identifiable information, while others should not. The Cluster Investigation Tool and Microbe Trace work locally on your computer, so users can work with any identifiable information, such as names of cases. Lit and Latte, however, are algorithms that are housed on CDC servers and therefore cannot accept identifiable information at this time. Should you want to use identifiable information with Lit or Latte, we can show you how to run the code in our studio, which is not as scary as you might think. Additional information on how to access and use these tools can be obtained at the URLs shown here. Interested users can also send questions by email to tbgenotyping at cdc.gov. We would like to thank the CDC Office of Advanced Molecular Detection for their support in developing the Lit and Latte algorithms, and CDC's Division of HIV AIDS Prevention for the development of Microbe Trace.